Okay, it's slightly noisy here. I've just stopped at Lake Whakamaru while we're at the Hydro Dam, which is all around me here, where they make electricity from the hydro, which I think is, well, it's pretty clean. I don't think there's a perfect way, apart from solar maybe, to make power, but it does work. Okay, so I'm sitting here at the dump station. I've dumped and I didn't think anybody would be interested in that bit, but I'm just filling up with water at the Mangakino dump station. So I think my tank's pretty, was pretty empty by the sounds of it and I was trying to remember when I last filled it up and I think it was nearly two weeks ago. So <laughs> it's probably a good time to get some water while I'm moving about and then I'm going to go back down to the lake for a few days because I've got quite a bit of work on so I'll look at where I want to go this weekend. Um, I keep toying with the idea of going to Taranaki. I'd quite like to <laughs> go and take some photos at Tonga Purutu by the um, Three Sisters. I'd really like to go there but I have to time that because there's no reception for me there so I can't work there. So yeah, contemplating my options at the moment. I don't really feel like going anywhere I've been going lately. I feel like going somewhere different. So I'm going to have a wee think about that over the next few days. I could. I'd been holding back too because my clutch had been a bit dicky. I still think I need to tweak it. I don't think it's got quite enough travel because I adjusted it after it completely stopped working for me. I was in Cambridge and I just couldn't get it into gear. So I adjusted it because the adjuster was really loose. The lock nut had come loose. So um, yeah, I, th I still think I'm, I'm not an expert at adjusting clutches. So I think I need to just give it a little bit more travel. It still feels like it quite hasn't got enough. Don't know, try it. I'll muck around with it. <laughs> but it seems to be okay. I don't think there's anything seriously wrong with it, which is good. So, yeah, no, it's been a strange old week, you know, with all that crazy stuff happening in Christchurch, and which really stunned me. I kind of sat there and thought, oh my gosh, what's wrong with human beings, you know, to even think like that? To think that another human being can be lesser than or less worthy, less important. Um, I just don't get that, you know. I mean, my work is in the spiritual sort of field and, and my whole philosophy is that we are all one, that we all are the same inside. I have clients who are from all different religions, from all different ethnicities, from all different backgrounds and inside what matters is generally pretty much the same. People hurt, people want to be loved, people love their children, they want to do something, to accomplish something, to feel good about what they're doing, you know, they want to be healthy, and everybody feels sad and hurt when they lose somebody or something bad happens to them, so inside our makeup is very much the same. It's only really skin and language and which God we choose to believe in that really divides people like that. Happiness is a full tank of water and a full tank of diesel. <laughs> Those things are important, for me anyway. Full tank of diesel and water is important anyway. <laughs> where I adjust my clutch on that rod because my clutch is not a um, hydraulic one it's pretty simple so when I've put the camera away <laughs> and got some tools I'm gonna give that a bit more of a tweak so yeah this is what the old girl looks like underneath 
before this next COF I'm going to give her a good good wipe down. Hang on. <laughs> give it a good wipe down and Fisherlean it, so I need to find a super cheap auto somewhere and do a bit of that, give it all a grease, all the grease nipples. And I have had a few women ask me about how to grease a truck. Essentially you need a grease gun with a grease cartridge. And then that's the grease nipple. And you put the end of your grease pump on there on your grease gun. And keep pumping the lever until it's starting to come out of these little <coughs> sides, all the different points of it. You can actually hear it, it makes a funny sound. And let it come out of there, that'll push any old grease out. And yeah, that's about it. And you go over your whole vehicle, whole vehicle doing that. And grease all the moving parts, and it does make them last a heck of a lot old, longer. But it is a dirty job, it's not lovely. I have tried doing it with gloves on, but it's they seem to break those thin gloves um, when I'm trying to do things like that. So I did give those ones on the drive shaft a bit of grease the other day because they looked a bit dry. But these little maintenance things, they just make a huge difference to how long your vehicle lasts. And yeah, any kind of vehicle. So that was awesome. I've just been up into the village and picked up my mail, which I had sent on to here, which would be really awesome. I needed a new um, cap for my grey tank. The seal on the old one's a bit not so good. And you can't really just buy them around here, so I ordered it online. But um, yeah, now this is the Mangakino golf course, and I generally walk across that to go to town. It's a bit shorter, it's a bit quicker, and then I'll go back and in the next couple of days I'll make a decision about where I want to go to next. I'm not really too kind of stressed about that. I think after years of travelling, and it'll be 20 years this winter, I don't have that rush thing anymore. You know, when I first started, I was always in a rush and always having to go places and see more and travel more, and somehow that's not there anymore. <laughs> I quite like Poddling along quite slowly and just going on to the next place when I feel like it because for me it's more that about having a nice lifestyle than rushing around all the time and I do feel I work that out of my system in my first little bus and the first couple of years on the road so yeah over the years I've just noticed my travel styles a lot slower so I will decide where to go in the next couple of days and keep you all updated Oh, and by the way, I have to confess, I'm really delighted. I just had an ice cream, and because I can't deal with dairy very well, I get really bad sinus issues if I eat any dairy products. Um, I just had one of those dairy-free Magnums, an almond one, and oh my god, that was good. Because <laughs> I haven't eaten anything like that, a Magnum, for years since I discovered that dairy was not doing me any favours, so... It was pretty amazing. <laughs> it was very nice to have a chance to um, have something like that again. So that was a bit of a bonus on my little walk up there. And now I'm going to head back home and do a bit more work.